Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a communication device that uses sets of lasers and photoresistors in order to transmit signals through some sort of median. To give you an idea on how this thing's going to work, um, we're going to have a transmitting computer that's going to send a signal to an Arduino that's going to then send it to individual laser diodes, which will then pass through the acrylic median to the photoresistors at the other side, which will then run to another Arduino and then will be picked up by the receiving computer. This is only going to be a one-way device, but you could make this two-way if you wanted to spend the extra time to. Now I started out by using some wax blocks and drill little quarter inch size holes in them so that I can take a little piece of acrylic with a cut end and make my way down since it's a little bit of too tight of a fit to work. So I screwed my way down to a specific depth from which I can then insert the other acrylic rods into. Once it all goes together, it's actually fairly firm. For the transmitting side of the block, where the laser diodes are at, I use 6mm lasers that fit into the quarter inch hole, which is 6.35mm, and hot glue them in. Now I actually tried using not laser diodes, but actually lasers, but it turned out to be a mess and it's much nicer to use the laser diodes instead. For the receiving side, I just took the photoresistors and hot glued them into the quarter inch holes that I previously had drilled. After hot gluing the photoresistors into the housing, we will need to put a power line to one of the ends of the photoresistor so that all the other ends then can be run to a circuit board. Now to split the signal coming from the photoresistors, I used a circuit board that I made using 120 ohm resistors in this diagram there to split the signal coming in to the Arduino pins in the ground. Now you want to make sure that you do this right so that you don't end up having a short circuit. So I went behind with a voltmeter just to make sure that everything was connected properly. To wire these things up, you need to make the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the transmitting Arduino run to the A1, A2, A3, and A4, and A5 of the receiving Arduino's pins. Now all you have to do is upload the files provided onto the Arduino's and pull up the serial prompt and type your message. Now the Arduino transmitter works by just converting the letters into a laser array so that it will send them out through the laser device to the receiver at the other side. The receiver was a little trickier as we had to make it wait for each of the laser input to come in, read that, convert it to a letter, then wait for the next letter. Um, after it does this, um, it will see the end transmission and make a new line. It was not flawless however where uh, a few of the characters will get mixed up. Uh, we tried to fix this, we spent a few hours doing it and we could not get all the bugs out of it, but we got it down to roughly 96% character accuracy. And that is how you turn a few photoresistors and laser diodes into a laser communication device.